Challenge. The Super Monkey is the strongest tower, so only use a Super Monkey with no heroes or other towers. Use code Voltrix. Hey, like my man said at the end, use code Voltrix in the battles too in BTD6 shop. Hashtag ad. Second of all, I am down to do this challenge, but know that I have done this challenge technically before. Yep, in Bonanza, play with fire and just casual battle. But that means I have not done this in a ranked match, which is what we're gonna be doing in today's video. But if you do enjoy, do not forget to drop a like. And as well, we are trying to hit 500,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And with your help, we can do it. So subscribe. And it looks like our opponent's hero is gonna be Quincy. We have Adora, but we can't use her. On the map, Plutonia Mines. Guys, this is definitely a late game oriented map. And we have to start off the game here with actually not even doing a single thing. We're not gonna be sending any balloons. We're literally gonna do nothing because we need to go for a super monkey and the base price of it is $1,800. We currently don't have that much money. So we need to just save up every freaking dollar we can. Of course, too, he sent me some space blues. Where is the best super monkey spot going to be? More up here or down here? I'm thinking down here, honestly, guys. Although that could definitely cause a massive Rego farm. But there we go with that. Okay. Let's get to eco when I guess now. I don't know, like, should we not eco? Maybe, you know what? You know what, boys? Because of the circumstances, and because he's sending me space greens right now, I think our best bet is sending space to eco during these other game rounds. I know, it sounds crazy, but if we max eco with grouped eco sends, then we're gonna be using quite a bit of our money, and we might just need to go for like the super range upgrade or something crazy like that, just to simply defend against space yellows here, or maybe space space, I don't know. Looks like we're actually fine currently against space yellows. Okay, what is he cooking up? Boat Ninja Quincy. All right, this is a raid match, mind you, in the BFB Coliseum, which remember, we have used the Super Monkey only in Bonanza, Play With Fire, and also Casual Mode, but never in an actual ranked match. So if we can pull this off, that would be so freaking hype. And you know what I just thought about, by the way, boys? I'm gonna be popping the balloons pretty much immediately. Oh, shoot. Uh, unless I put this like on the strong or something. So it focuses more on the space pinks. Nope. I mean, he's popping the balloons immediately too, bro. Ah, I don't think there's anything I can do. Honestly. Okay, I'm going to upgrade this, by the way, to the super range to get that increase of pierce. If he so happens to send us space whites, which I would assume. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. But from that, let's take a second to thank our sponsor for today's video, the world's most popular meal kit, HelloFresh. And whether you're trying to save money, eat better, or even just stress less, HelloFresh can help you do all three. And I even got my own HelloFresh order. And as you can see, here are all the ingredients for us to make this meal right here. And not gonna lie, that picture looks amazing, but I'm not that good of a chef. However, on the other side, it gives you step-by-step -step directions on how to easily make these meals. And like I told y'all, I'm not the greatest chef out there, but with these step-by-step -step directions, it wasn't hard at all to whip this up in the kitchen. Like, look at me though. I'm going hard with cooking these onions on the stove. Hey, don't forget the burgers too. Sheesh. Gotta flip those bad boys too. Mmm, those look good. And here's the final product. And uh, there's my baby Duke and my baby boy Mac. But see how easy that was? If you're looking for easy meals like this that are absolutely delicious, go to my HelloFresh link in the description and use my code VOLTRIX16FM and receive 16 free meals plus free dessert for life while subscription is active. Thank you so much again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into the game. And now I just don't want to win this game by like all outing my opponent, for example, with like purples on round 11. We don't want to do that. I want to use the super monkey only and I want to go late game with the super monkey only to see if it's even possible. You know, it just like feels more like a challenge when you take whatever challenge that you're doing all the way to at least like round 26 DDTs or something. But the goal would be round 30, okay? I want to go late game with only using the super, but bro, he's not even equaling boys. Do we dare send grouped yellows then? We might want to. I don't know why he's not, but hey, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to question it either because it is what it is, but it's a good thing for us because now we can effectively build our eco. Guys, we actually could have just eco normally. Now that I think about it, probably we probably would have had enough money to go for the super range upgrade. Okay, did tower boost and Quincy level three. Obviously, he's going to be fine here. Okay, back to space sequin though. Space blacks. How do I defend during the mid-game rounds, guys? Oh my, okay. So uh, we gotta have a lot of good things 
going on for us. First of all, he can set his camos, but we're going to have to go with the bottom crafts pats, of course, on this super monkey if we want to have a chance of defending against the camos because we need the ultra vision upgrade. But if he sends his camo leads, then we're, we're completely screwed. Like, actually, we're just completely freaking screwed. So we have to hope and pray that this guy will not realize that I don't have the ability to pop specifically camo leads. Here come some of those space sievers as well. I'm going to go for the increase of pierce here rather than the knockback. I think it's going to be a bit better for us. Let's go with grouped reds here. Oh, shoot. Okay, maybe this should be back on to first, by the way. Yeah, put this back on first. Okay, run 11. This could be very, very bad here. Oh, no. I mean, technically, we could save up for Robo. Robo would be crazy. Oh, actually, uh, I need Ultra Vision. I actually do. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go for it, boys. Do we send Space Rainbows? Uh, let's do it. I mean, we're kind of sort of defending against Group Black Eco, and his Eco is not good at all. So, like, it's kind of sort of working. And Space Rainbows, too. <laughs> and no way this is working. Okay. I'm going to chill out for a second because, again, we cannot pop Camo Leads. Guys, the second that he realizes that, we are screwed. So, I just kind of want to save up a little bit of money just to be safe. Maybe he's scared that I'm going to rush him, by the way. Oh, wait. I forgot about lead balloons. Mm, I'm going to have to sell this. Oh, no. Oh, my God. 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 Oh. Oh, no. He went for a balloon jutsu. Oh, my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. La How are we alive? How are we alive right now? Why are you not rushing me? <laughs> Why? <laughs> like, are you just being Mr. Nice Guy? I, I mean, if so, I appreciate it. But, like, bro, I don't even want to eco. I, I straight up don't even want to eco here. I could go for a Dark Knight right here. But the thing is, the Dark Knight doesn't have the ability to pop purples. Ah, uh, we might want to still go for that, though. Not going to lie. So yeah, we'll start going for that at least. Because we do still need camera detection technically, right? So now we got the Ultra Vision upgrade. Okay, so after just one more income boost. Oh! We're good. We're good. Yeah, look. You see me struggling in space purples within the AI. But no, we're fine. We're, we're literally... We've, we've never been more fine in our lives, boys. Okay. <laughs> we're going to go for the Dark Knight. So... The thought process that I have here, maybe I set you to strong and you as well to strong. And then, realistically, uh, the Dark Knight should be able to clean up the rest, right? Because if he sends me purple balloons, most likely those would be the strongest. Or actually, no, the AI is starting to get a lot more crazy now. Camo yells. Yo, he said one set of camo yells. Why specifically camo yellows, though? Because, like, you weren't even equal with yellows. You were equal with black balloons. Or maybe he sent me camo blacks. I just didn't pay attention. I don't exactly know. Okay, so there's going to be camo purples as well. I think in like the round 24 AI. So we definitely cannot forget about that. But we're closing in finally on a thousand freaking eco. There is just no way this is working, guys. I want to take this game as late as we can, bro. I, I truly, truly do, bro. Although he has the life advantage, I'm not looking to defend against the late game rush. So if he quite literally refuses to rush us... It's not a big deal by any means, but I think for the moment, we're fine against pretty much everything. Unless, like, dude, I don't know. If he sends me a lot of regen rainbows or something crazy like that, we, we'd probably be screwed, right? But he did go for a sticky bomb. All the way in the front of the map, like, I don't understand this guy's thought process literally at all. But you know what? So long as we're alive and we're able to eco, I guess we're full chilling, right? Okay, there's going to be a lot of camos here on this round too, round 21. A lot of camo rainbows specifically, so these super monkeys won't be able to help us out really. So we've got to keep that in mind. Surely, oh wait. Okay, well I don't want you to die. I honestly don't want you to. I mean you have Quincy level 10. If worse comes to worse, you have Quincy level 10. So surely you're able to defend. Bro, how is he struggling this much though? What? He had a tower boost? Oh my, okay, he's starting to pre-buy all these ninjas too. He wants to go for the shinobis to buff his tier 5 ninjas, which is definitely a solid play. No shot. Guys, this is my first attempt. I haven't even said that yet, but this is literally my first attempt. It's 7 in the morning, so maybe like that's why. Maybe like at 7 a.m., 
There's not freaking sweats playing battles too, man, in the BFB Coliseum. So I just got freaking lucky, bro. But we're closing in on 2K Eco. There is no freaking way. Fortified Ceramics here on round 23. Remember, Camel Purple's here on the next round. So with that in mind... Ooh, Black Wounds 2 here. A little scary. But with that in mind... Wait, literally, I've got to chill like right now. Okay, we got it. So I'm going to put you to first. Yeah. All I need you to do... Mm, I don't like this. I don't like it. Go for the increase of Pierce. Okay, we're good. Surely with that, we're good. Look how scary that is, bro. See, we, we could have died at that on round 11. Okay, it's round now 24. <laughs> that is crazy. Man. He hasn't even sent me anything but eco. He didn't even try, bro. I kind of want to send him something, but at the same time, like, I don't want him to die. And because we're so down bad when it comes to our eco game, I feel like we shouldn't rush him. We should just focus on our eco and focus on saving up as much money as we can, especially for round 26 DDTs, which is why I'm okay with keeping these super monkeys here uh, because we could just upgrade these to dark knights. Okay, fortify leads here, though. I mean, we're fine. Do not get me wrong. What? Yo. That Super Monkey still was able to stun and actually pop that mob there. That's actually pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, by the time that round 26 comes around, we should probably upgrade this uh, to a Dark Knight. Although, Purple Balloons still exist. And they still technically could be an issue, man. But I'm going to go for a Dark Knight here. Or I'm going to start going for a Dark Knight here. Okay, how about that? Okay, round 26. Okay. He went for the OP sniper, but like he's like really late to that. Like he should have that during the mid game rounds, but uh, whatever, man. When should we stop ecoing, bro? I don't know, man. I mean, so long as he's ecoing, he's not currently ecoing though. But if we notice that he's ecoing on like round 27, then we should be good to ecoing as well. Yo, maybe we can just straight up save our money for a dark champion. Dark champion definitely would be pretty solid. And we have 15k on hand at the moment. I kind of don't want to sell these, though. I kind of want to keep these on the map, if that's, a, uh, in fact, possible. We could upgrade this to a Tech Terror eventually uh, to help with the insides of Fortified BEDs. Hopefully, we just won't have to worry about those, though. Because, like, bro, what am I going to do against Fortified BEDs? I mean, I get we got the strongest tower, the best late-game tower. But, like, our money is just not there, man. Okay, he's back to equal in a little bit. Okay, Camo Balloon's here. Yeah. I think we're fine. I hope we're fine. Mom is going to upgrade this. Dark Champ. Dark Champ it is. We pulled it off, boys. Only using the Super Monkey. Dark Champion. $30,000 for this upgrade alone. Oh my goodness, man. Let's clear this obstacle, too. Beautiful. We could actually Dark Shift this as well. Uh, more down here. I don't know. Like, Do we try to go for a True Sun God? There's literally... No. There is no way I could go for a true sun god, right? There's there, there's actually just no way. I could have eco with zebras too, but like I just wanted to play it safe, guys. You didn't know, or we all didn't know, if he was going to rush us on round 26 with DDTs. Or just round 22 with his ELMG. We had no freaking clue. But based off what he's done so far, yeah. I feel like this guy is just not going to rush us for the rest of the game. And he's going to wait for a rush from us. So we've got to keep that in mind. But round 30 is here. BFB, of course, we're going to be absolutely fine against. He uh, did stop B Queen. So that is definitely something to note. But I think I'm going to hit like 5,000 Eco here. And then we'll call it a day. Mind you, he dies to a lot of different things right now. He dies to Hyper Density OMGs. He dies to DDTs. He dies to BADs. So we, we could send all of those. Very much so. But again, like I, I just want to go a little bit later. Like Literally, why not? No, 5,001. No, bro. I wanted to get that perfect 5,000, bro. I really, really did. You know what? It's fine, though. Okay, so we can always dark shift you away if we want to go for something else. Or like, dude, is Temple really worth it, bro? It's not going to be worth it because we can only go for sacrificing on the magic category. We can't go for any other sacrificing. So, like, I, I don't even think that's going to be the play. I truly don't. He's going for the Shinobis, though, still. Although, he doesn't have a Master Bomber anywhere. 
or sticky bombs even, that's being blocked by all these ninjas. So, I don't know, man. Bro, we have $100,000. We could literally go for the Legend of the Night. Let's do it. Legend of the Night with only using the Super Monkey, bro. Oh, my freaking... That is just... That's crazy, bro. And now we're going to have the black hole, the passive black hole ability to where if we do in fact leak to DDTs, ZOMGs, literally just rebels, anything, a black hole will in fact spawn and we will actually not die. So we're practically invincible. He's back to eco into what? What, bro? Why? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I know I could have maybe still pulled off the true sun god. But again, the sacrifice and everything, it just would have been terrible. And I'm assuming that most likely when I do end up rushing this guy, that he's not going to be able to defend, and he's going to counter with DDTs, okay? I could totally be wrong about that. Uh, but if we take over the True Sun God, that would not be very good at stopping those DDTs. So I feel a lot more confident with going for this. You know what, then? You know what, then? I will go also for another super... Probably like right beneath the uh, Legend of the Night right here. We could technically go for an anti balloon. Let's do it. Let's freaking do it, boys. Why the heck not? I'm going to cross bat that as well uh, with the top path. We'll still leave these super monkeys here. Why not? But obviously, we're shredding the AI. Somehow. Oh, wait. Actually, now we're doing better. I was going to say, like, at first, he was doing better. But now we have surpassed him. I mean, it's because they're Legend of the Night, too. It's not able to immediately hit these balloons. Uh, so that's definitely a big, big reason. How does he still not have a tier 5? Not a tier 5 in sight. Maybe he doesn't have them unlocked. It's actually definitely possible. I don't know. Like, this guy is definitely playing like he's just new to Battles 2, I guess. Because, <laughs> like, there's no way. He didn't realize it sent me Camo Leds, Purples, not a single rush. He could have sent me Region Rainbows. He could have sent me so many different things. And he didn't try one of them. Again... I don't know if this guy just likes going epic late game and playing full passively, or if he just wanted to be super, super nice. By the way, look at these regen fortified camo ceramics. That is a mouthful to say. 100k again. Let's do it. It's I blue, baby. Legend of the Night times the anti freaking balloon. That is just crazy that we were able to achieve it. Okay, yeah, definitely then. If we went for a $100,000 upgrade. $90,000 upgrade. I mean, the Sun Temple's $80,000 and the True Sun God's two hundred, dollars I believe. So, still quite expensive, but technically probably could have pulled it off. But again, it would have been buns because the sacrificing would have been freaking terrible. Why is round 37, by the way, just so long? I mean, at this point, we could send him two fortified BADs. So, I'm going to hit him with the come at me just to see, hey, you know, he, he might actually end up sending us a rush. Sometimes I think, though, like, when I spam this, people think, like, more like, oh, come at me, haha, <laughs> like, I'm better than you. Like, no, like, I quite literally mean, like, come at me with balloons or moabs or whatever the heck. You know what I mean? Like, I want you to send me a freaking rush, young man. Uh, but, yeah, again, like, this guy, he's just full passive. You know what? We'll, we'll give him until round 39, though. Mine is freaking well. He, he did go for the Grandmaster Ninja, so we'll give him that. But, like, a Grandmaster Ninja is not saving you, my friend. Yo, I should send hyper-dense ZOMGs. Because he still doesn't have the Master Bomber. Guys, he would die. He would die, but it's not round 39. No signs of a rush, bro. You're lying, man. I kind of want to sell these Super Monkeys just so it's quite literally only the tier vibes right here. So, you know what? We can sell them for around almost $10,000 after one more income boost. He did go for Master Bomber. He did. Okay. I still feel like technically he would not be able to defend. I don't know. It's, it would definitely be risky to try. I mean, he doesn't have any Shinobis around it. We're going to do it. Sell, sell. ZOMGs. Okay, I'm going to save. I'll send one more set. And I'm going to send a Fortify BFB. I have to, bro. I have to just play this safe. But he he realistically shouldn't defend it. And I realistically also should have set the Fortify BAD first. But look at this, bro. Even with me rushing, you're not going to counter. Yes, you're going to counter. Ah! <laughs> what? What? Wait, don't die to that. What? 
What? What was that? Yeah, wait. I just died to invisible balloons, bro. I mean, I didn't, but like, what activated the freaking anti- Wait, no, the black hole. I saw like an effect on the screen, but there were no balloons. The anti-balloon should have shredded everything. No, that's crazy, though. That's great. Yo, I think I deserve that win. I don't even care. Call it cope. Call it whatever the heck you want. That was so weird. And the challenge actually technically did not say that we have to win. And I, I feel like we're not going to get any better luck than a guy like that being our opponent. So I hope you guys still ended up enjoying today's video. Very, very weird ending. Let me know what you guys think about this ending and everything down in the comments below. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know by dropping a like on this video. And as well, if you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button. Trying to hit 500k by the end of the year. With your help, we could do it. Thank you so much. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where we showcase the brand new hero that will be coming soon to Battles 2, Fate Weaver Adora. And you do not want to miss this one.